never forget the moment I heard the words, it's cancer. I was 28 years old and being diagnosed with aggressive triple negative breast cancer. This uncommon type of breast cancer grows rapidly, recurs frequently, and responds poorly to many treatments. This diagnosis changed my life in an instant. However, fortunately, we caught my cancer early and I had a fantastic care team. After six grueling months of chemotherapy and major surgery, my doctor told me the treatment worked and they couldn't find any remaining tumor. It's hard to find words to describe how I felt when I learned I had no evidence of disease, but I know that's the moment that I dedicated my career to giving that feeling to other cancer patients. My name is Dr. Kristen Anderson and I am an immunologist. I study how we can make the immune system better at killing cancer. Because of my diagnosis, I shifted my research from infectious disease research to cancer immunotherapies, which are treatments that specifically boost a patient's immune system to recognize and kill their cancer. Immunotherapy can work wonders for some patients, but not for everyone or all cancer types. So my research focuses on making immunotherapy work for more people. I learned from experts in cancer biology, cancer immunology, and clinical trials, and in 2023, I moved to the University of Virginia to open my own cancer immunology research program. My goal is to develop immunotherapies for difficult to treat cancers so other patients can feel how I did when they are also declared free of disease. My experience as a patient shapes how I do research because I deeply consider how my work could both positively and negatively impact cancer patients. My research group is trying to create new medicines to control tumor growth and prolong patient survival, but these medicines are only really helpful if any associated side effects are manageable for patients. Thinking about patient concerns is certainly not unique to my research group, but this mindset helps me prioritize research directions that center patient perspectives and priorities. I listen to patient advocates who are often community members who have experienced the disease that I'm researching because their insights can help me design better trials, better experiments, and better science. Cancer research saved my life, so I'm now working to make sure it saves many more.